Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, this is a bit of a weird one from quite a few years back, I think round about 2007. But this is a RTR Tamiya Nitro truck and it's the TNX 5.2R. So, basically, scouring around on the internet and I was looking for a TR15T and then came across this thing and I've never seen one of these before. I've seen the standard um, coloured version, but I've never really come across one of these. So, let's bring him for a close-up look and uh, have a look what we managed to pick up. So, I managed to pick this one up off of eBay. Um, the seller has got quite a few other sort of vintage and rare Tamiya things, so I will drop a link in the description below. So you can have a look at what other bits of uh, kit he's got. But... This is a ready-to-run Tamiya, uh, fully built, and it is the Champagne Gold one, which I've never come across in the UK. Um, there is a few bits on this saying it's from Tamiya Italy, so maybe it was one that never actually came to UK, but this is the stock colour of it. And it's quite an interesting um, truck, this one. Um, one, because it's got a massive 5.2cc nitro engine in it which is i think one of the biggest ones that uh, tammy's fitted to anything um it's also got the two-speed gearbox and it's got the ability to have up to um, eight shocks and dampers on it there's a lot of stuff that comes with this so you get the full radio gear obviously all the servos transmitter receiver you also get the glow starter that will run off a C-cell battery and you get the rotor start with this. Now they did do different versions where you'd got the electric start in the back. Um, I think pretty similar to the Traxxas Revo where this seems to be quite a lot of people saying the little motor fails a lot on them. So probably why they went to rotor start. If we have a look around it, I mean the box is in fairly good condition for how old it is. And if we flip it around, we can see a few of the uh, few of the hop up options. I'd love to get hold of some more shocks, um, so we can have all eight on it. There's an aluminium brake arm, bolt uh, suspension, hex drives, and what looks like a different coloured head that you can get for it. And you can get the uh, charger, batteries for transmit and receiver, and the uh, fuel bottle usable frequencies so it is on 27 megs and as you can see it is on the tgm04 chassis and it does show us the gearbox quite chunky gears on these as well so it does say it's got full bar full bearings as well but let's see if i can uh, get this all out of box for you so you can see how this turned up so this is how it arrived to me we have the antenna straw we've got the full original instructions we got the original sales receipt in there but everything's been kept in as new condition so we also have the original registration form so it is nice to see that it comes with all the original instructions and everything so I'll put that back in its packet Keep it safe we also have the original sealed glow starter we've got the original antenna band we've got a full sealed toolkit we've also got a little bag of spares so we've got a few turnbook lens few bolts body clips and an elastic band the transmitter is still fastened up in its packet, which is nice to see. The bottom of this box has been opened, but we have the rotor start with its starter still sealed up inside. And we have the original antenna still sealed in its packet. But yeah, we got the Tamiya ad spec. And it is the original crystal set, band one, which is what it says on the uh, actual box. So on this, you've got your steering, 
you've got throttle reverse I think that's on bottom you've got steering reverse power and then I believe up on the top here be a bit hard to see but you can just see them so you've got steering trim and throttle trim and then it does take eight AA batteries in the bottom now moving along to the actual RC itself it does have all the original sort of body shell and the original clips so if we take this off see it's all sealed up in its original packaging so if we just carefully remove that it's got its heat shield in place and this is a really gorgeous champagne gold colour so I'm really really impressed with uh, how well this has sort of been preserved <laughs> for want of a better word you've got really nice suspension because it's the champagne gold one comes with the silver shocks silver chassis and chromed wheels the standard car is all blue we do have a battery box and it's still got the original warning in place so that takes four double a batteries and pretty much all nitros run this from back in the day you just had a little box with four AAs in it and quite a lot of them still do it's got all its original receiver and the crystal pops in there we've got all the warnings still for the uh, exhaust there's a very slight bit of rust showing on here because it's mild steel but I think um, I'm just going to use some of the oil I use for my shotgun on it and it should protect it. We've got a TPS 3004 throttle and brake servo. So that's a Tamiya servo. The air filter still in perfect condition because it's sealed in its bag and it's still got the original sticker sealing up the head. Uh, if we look down into it, see if I can get you a picture of the rotor start so the rotor starts designed so you put the start in through the body to fire it up and if we flip it over you can see all metal out drives these are all greased really nicely got open diffs front and rear but I think the center diff I think the center is solid I've not looked into it too much, not sure if we have a slipper clutch set up, but we've got a, a TP3, TPS3010 steering servo with the Tamiya um, servo saver. And you can see on these, you've got the extra mount holes available for the shocks. And these are massively adjustable. There's a whole bunch of different positions that you can put the shocks on not sure if maybe you can see it on the rear ones the front and rear arms are identical so you've got a load of different positions for your shocks and you can add extra shocks these two are removable so your bash plate and bumpers are removable in case you damage them and it's quite chunky looking lots of adjustability so this for when it came out this is a really really nice truck all the steering is um, on ball hubs so all all four of your hubs are the same you've got fully adjustable on the rear because they're same as the front hubs so you can adjust the uh, toe on all the rears as well quite a big fuel tank on these with a priming pump and a hell of a lot of travel on that suspension so yeah this were really really nice designed truck 
you got a composite exhaust or plastic really solidly mounted does warn you that the brake parts get hot which is um, that's different uh, the brake as the abrasive material as the actual disc and then metal pads probably have to see that better from underneath but they are really really chunky drive shafts everything solid metal so quite an impressive truck um, I'm guessing this is a far more capable truck than like the Revo 3.3. Certainly be interesting uh, if I ever do run this to see this up against the Revo. Looks like it's got more ground clearance and it is a 1 8 truck. So it's still the sort of scale that the Revo is. Tires are vented, so these are all vented on the inside. And it's really nice that it comes with the uh, dish wheels bit more like a uh, sort of a race truck certainly with the adjustability on this and I mean for how old this is there's not one leaking diff shocker or anything on it which is also really impressive I mean I've had plenty of armor and Traxxas vehicles come out the box with leaking diffs or shocks um, the uh, LMT son of a digger the rear diff on that pretty much just leaked all in bottom of the box. But yeah, really impressive. Not really one that I can ever see Tamiya re-releasing either this one. Mainly because it's nitro, but there wasn't that many trucks that they brought out with this style chassis. I've seen some trucks or some listings for the TGM oh two and three i believe i'm not sure if if one was the terror crusher but yeah just thought i'd uh bring you in and show you this one really really impressed with the quality and condition of it even the little rubber on top of the body posts so the body paint doesn't get scratched off that's all in place and i would love to get a set of eight shocks for this I know you have to swap the springs for the uh, red softer springs interesting that the fuel tanks actually mounted on little rubber o-rings as well so vibration don't crack your tank I've seen that on a few vehicles especially as they get older the exhaust is held on with the spring gas and gasket and yeah looking through the back you can see the you can see the actual slipper clutch so it does run a clutch instead of a uh, center diff that's the arm that you can get in metal instead and usually on a two speed you've got sort of an inspection hole that you can set the two speed not sure where it is on this or how you set it i'll have to look through instructions but nothing's jumping out at me as yet <laughs> for where you set the actual two speed shift point unless they're not adjustable but I'm pretty sure it said it were two speed or I've read somewhere the two speed boxes I don't think it's under that sticker ah yeah we have we have a little tab <laughs> so there's a little rubber bung there so I'm guessing that's where you change your two speed clutch looks easy enough to get to if you uh, think I can remove the air filter on this one yeah so the clutch is nice and easy to get to it looks like it's a solid metal spur gear nice slide calm I quite like the way that's a uh, rubber o-ring on the air filter in many of the uh, RC's come with a zip tie on there and it does make it a bit of a pain fully adjustable shocks front and rear and uh, quite chunky shock shafts on it but that's um, just a first look just to show you what we've picked up on channel not sure if I'd ever run this um, definitely uh, Leave your opinions in comments below because as you can see this has never actually had fuel or anything in it. It's completely as original and they're going to be getting difficult to get bits for. 
but in the same respect, I, I do think it's just a waste when you've got such nice RCs and they basically just don't get used. But let's uh, let's wrap this one up. So there we have it, the uh, TNX 5.2R Champagne Gold Edition. It's a really nice car and as much as I'd like to run it, I think it'd probably be a shame to take such a nice version of it and if any of it got scratched and damaged it's going to be very difficult to replace. But thanks ever so much for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.